spell red. Red. L S T E R. Yo, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna be installing my Megan Racing Trans mount. Um should be a quick, easy install, nothing too crazy. I wanted to get this done because I'm tired of feeling the second gear lockout and the sloppy freaking BK1 transmission. All right, so this is the Megan Racing trans mount for the BK1 manual transmission. I'm pretty sure there's different ones if you have like an automatic and all that. Um, but yeah, this is for the manual transmission. You connect it from the four top bolt holes and then you get the, the trans mount brace and that installs right on here. So yeah, let's get into the install. All right, so if you're new to the channel, this is my soon to be big turbo Genesis Coupe. Um, right now I'm just full bolt-ons no tune waiting on that but yeah this is my 2011 bk1 genesis coupe 2.0 t all right so the first step is jacking up the car so get the car in the air safely you want to get it high enough to where you could be under the car comfortably so jack up the front and the rear I kind of have to hurry this install up because it looks like it's about to start raining on me. But um, but yeah, now we got the car up on jacks now. Probably gonna spray some WD-40 underneath on the mounts to make it easier to come out. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is taking off the downpipe from here. From the hanger and straight off the O2 housing. Um, I can't remember what size the nuts and bolts are for stock, but I know for the, for my setup right now, I have to use a 15 and a 16 millimeter. So, I got the downpipe out, as you can see, it's not connected. I got the two bolts on the O2 housing, and then you got the two bolts here, connecting to the to the mid pipe section of the exhaust. Now it's time time to start cracking the loose on these bolts here, here, and here. Before we do that. We kind of have to use the jack in order to like you know get some weight off of the trans mount so you want it to be supported while you take off what's holding it up so now you're gonna get the jack put the jack right in this like center portion to just hold up the transmission when you're loosening up the bolts so you see how i have the jack right now i mean you can take the wheel off but I don't think you really need to in order to just get it from a different angle, but the way I have it right now, it's perfectly fine. Let's get into it. I'll show you right now what you need to take off these two outer, uh, or two here, two right there, and the four in the middle. I'll show you what you need to take that on right now. All right, so now for these four bolts right here, it's um, a 12 millimeter. Okay, so for these bolts right here, 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 and here, you're gonna need a 14 mil, 
and probably get a breaker bar. But right now I'm just using my extendable ratchet. You want to crack these loose, be careful you don't strip them. But they're on there pretty tight, so be aware of that. Look at how freaking flimsy this is. This is terrible. The new one is so much different. And it's so rusty too. Now for these one, two, and then on the other side, one, two. Um, they'll be using the same thing for um, a 14 mil. And it comes right out. Okay, so I got the, the mount out and the brace. Um, I'm gonna be cleaning this up a little bit because this is disgusting. Look at that. I can literally just... All right, but now we're gonna get the, the new Megan Racing one. Slap that in right after I clean this up. Here's a look, up close look of both transmission mounts you see this one has way more material in it compared to this one i don't believe there's a specific like direction this needs to be facing i mean besides you know being like this but a matter of it going in this way or this way i think it doesn't really matter all right so it's just gonna all go back into the same spot that it was in before like literally everything um so you want to get that those other 14 mils maybe shorter ones you get these you want to get this bolt to put back in have everything lined back up and then you can start putting everything pretty much back on reverse the way we took it off So this one, the brace is direction like oriented. So you want to get it so that you see like, hold on. One side says TM and I think the other one says TA. Yeah. So you want the TM part right here facing towards the transmission. You want it facing towards the transmission. And then you want to put the outer, outer four bolts on first. So get the 14s back and then start going. So now that you got those bolts back in, here, 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 and here, now you want to get the four 12 mils back in over here. All right, so now the trans mod is in. Now we just have to reinstall the downpipe. Here, here, and back on the hanger, and then the install is done. Put the car back on the ground. Drop the, the jack from underneath the trans. 
because now you got the support bracket and everything back on there so you don't need it to hold the weight anymore. All right, so the downpipe is back on. The transmon is in, trans brace, all that. So now you're done with the install and I can just drop the car, start it up, go for a little test run, see how it feels. The difficulty of the install was like, I'm gonna say like a three out of 10. Um, I honestly, probably like a two, cause that was so simple. Um, it took only about 30-ish minutes, like it's still super sunny out and hot as hell. I got a stage two competition clutch coming. Um, cause right now I'm stage three, probably I'm gonna have my friend Breck help me with that. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Later.